Good afternoon, Swope families. I just wanted to reach out to you uh, to explain a little bit about how we're gonna start the school year off. Behind me, you're gonna see Sherwood Drive and that's where most families are gonna end up dropping off their students and entering through the, either this gate or the gate uh, down at the end of the, the block uh, next to the basketball courts. As we pan our way to the left over here, you're gonna see the brand new field um, that's been put into place. It just got freshly cut this morning and um, we're pretty excited about the new grass taking root. Um, your student is going to come from Sherwood Drive and he's going to make, he or she's going to make their way down um, the pathway here to their teacher's names. We'll have adults out here uh, that will direct students to where they need to go. Uh, so the next shot that we have, uh, you're going to see what these signs are going to look like. Thank you. So as students make their way down the track area um, along Sherwood Drive, they're gonna find teachers with room numbers um, on, along the fence line. Uh, Mr. Bodensteiner, for example, in N13. Um, so these are all the North Hall teachers. Their signs are gonna be on the fence that faces Sherwood Drive. Students will line up, single file line, maintaining social distancing and uh, their teachers will meet them here at 7.23 a.m. and they will walk them into the west side of North Hall. Those students that are in South Hall are gonna make their way to the Swope Fields and they're gonna find their signs for their teachers and room numbers for East Hall and South Hall um, along those fields. As you can see, what we're looking at right now is the Swope Pyramid. And uh, just to give you a little bit of perspective, um, behind us is Swope Middle School. As we look to the west, we're looking at the new field that has just been created and students that are dropped off there will now make their way um, towards the Swope Pyramid Fields and be directed by um, adult staff. What you're going to see now is that the outfield of one of the fields, we have um, East Hall set up with the library the gym, E1, E2, and E4. So students in those first period classes are going to report to this, this outfield. Um, those that are scheduled to report in South Hall will report to the outfield that faces Keel Drive. Again, we still want our parents to drop off their students on Sherwood Drive and then students can make their way, they can walk their way over to the, to the fields because we have students that are also being dropped off in the west parking lot um, by buses. Swope Middle School and as we pan across these um, South Hall classroom signs you're going to see that we're going to be facing Keel Drive. So South Hall students um, or students that are reporting to their first period classes in South Hall, they will meet out in the outfield of the Swope Pyramid Fields that, that face Keel Drive. Again, um, please remind your students to maintain social distancing as they enter our campus and um, also to be wearing their face mask. Thank you. Students who are having breakfast in the cafeteria each morning will enter through the front doors. They will take a right down East Hall and then they'll take a second right into the cafeteria. Right now we're standing in the East parking lot and I just wanted to stand out here just to remind our parents that in the mornings when there's drop off and at the end of the school day, this is where our buses will be parking. So we don't allow for uh, students to be dropped off on the keel side of, of our campus. Another thing that you're going to notice is that um, there's a little bit of construction going on right now. We are on an active construction site 
and most of our construction inside or all of our construction inside the building is going to take place during uh, or after school hours dirt work getting ready for the construction of the the new gym will be taking place during school hours and we're going to be working on noise abatement um, covering windows in in those construction areas and and providing safety uh, trafficking and, and uh, fences to uh, keep our, our students away from uh, the construction zone. The other thing that I wanted to make sure that we all realize when we start school on August 17th, this upcoming Monday and, and Tuesday, um, in traffic zones or in school zones, you've got to be aware of your speed, no more than 15 miles an hour. You need to be aware that uh, students are walking, riding their bikes or riding their scooters to school. So be aware of uh, pedestrian traffic. So what we're looking at right now is just a hydration station that was donated by the Swope PFA in um, school year 2016-17. Um, just so we're all aware, um, we're asking all of our students to bring water bottles to school to stay hydrated um, because our drinking fountains are, are not to be used um, just due to the, um, the restrictions that we have with regards to maintaining safety and, and um, and so we're focusing on, on kids bringing their water bottles and using our hydration station. Uh, if there are any type of water fountains that are open, um, those will be used just to fill water bottles. Um, again, the expectation that water fountains are, are not to be used uh, for drinking fountains. We had originally thought that um, we would end up doing one-way traffic where students would have to exit um, outside a door and end up um, making their way around to another outdoor exit to or outdoor entrance to come into the building. Um, just worth working with um, the expectations of our um, capital projects um, ambassador. We determined that it would be safer to uh, maintain one-way traffic down each side of the hall. We're going to ask our students to stay right of the, the one-way sign and um, stay closer to the, the locker side of the hallway. Um, we have approximately 10 to, 10 to 12 feet between um, um, each side of the hall and that's going to uh, um, maintain our, our social distancing. So um, lockers will not be used this um, first semester. Um, we wanted to reduce the number of touch points and in talking with the other middle school principals um, we decided that one of the ways that we could do this is just have students bring all their belongings with them to each of their classrooms. So I hope this video has been informative and um, helped you prepare your students for this Monday, August 17th, or Tuesday, August 18th, for the first day of school. I can tell you that um, I've been thinking about this moment ever since uh, March 14th. Uh, March 13th was the Friday before spring break, and, and that was the last time we saw students um, running up and down or walking up and down these hallways. And um, the energy, um, the excitement, the joy that students bring to the school building is, um, is amazing. So. We're excited to have your students return. Um, obviously, everybody's got a little bit of trepidation about how things are going, but when it comes right down to it, um, your students are gonna make us feel better, and we are going to work to provide the safest environment possible for your sons and daughters. Thank you, enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.